Two straight holds to love. A really good stretch right now from Fishy Parent Connor. Holds to 15, love and love to finish this set, but it will be a time break to decide the second. Come on, Gio. isn't it that it was the second ball again so it nearly cost him the tie break in the first Pounding away at that backhand wing, the forehand backhand matchup. And it is weighty, heavy, and oppressive. Constant pressure. Listen, I'd frankly rather have that kind of mistake out of Pesci the card. At least it's an aggressive forehand that he's missing there. Almost takes out somebody up in the balcony up there. your head out of your phones, kids. He doesn't have a chance at it. That volley was just lacking some quality there, wasn't it? Didn't have the bite, didn't have the punch. Maybe half a step slow to get to that point where he could really crack, find the angle that was going to generate uh, the free point out of that. And just like that, we are back on serve three all. One ball back. All boy. All boy. One ball back.
Oh, I think Shimizu is going to be thinking about that. Yeah, he immediately takes that swing and said, yeah, I, I had the time. I could have actually hit a forehand in that spot to threaten a little bit better. was there for him within his reach he goes back to look you have to trust in your hands in that spot so it's on the racket now Pesce Pericot 5-4 two serves for it Wow. Five. Also a bit of a shock, huh? <gasps> He's missed two straight first ball forehands. Oh my word, it's match point Shimitsu. Oh, my word. Disaster for the Frenchman. Shimizu has taken out the giant. Yuta. In straight sets, six and six. Taking out the big serving, Veshi Pericard. And it's Shimitsu Yuta into our final here at the Chicago Men's Challenger. Slaying the man 16 inches taller and finishing with an incredible lob. Wow, wow, wow. Hard earned for this five foot four powerhouse. The Dynamo is into tomorrow's final. And we will find out shortly who he will face. Alex Mickelson, Jerry Shine coming up. You're watching.